Hello. You join us in Henley upon Thames. Beautiful Henley upon Thames, one of our favourite towns on the Thames. Yeah, it's not uh, quite the same this year because they haven't got the regatta on. Or um, the boat festival because we were here when there was a boat festival on, so it's a bit quiet, but it's still beautiful. It is lovely. Mm. And today we're heading from Henley to. We don't know really. Mm. We're just going to have a little. Potter. A little potter. We want to try and get to the Lynch, I think it's called. Yeah. I might be wrong, that might not be it. <laughs> More on the Lynch, yeah. <laughs> Which is a group of islands between here and Sonning. Um, but we'll see, if we can't get more in there, we'll go a little bit further. Yeah. We had a lovely evening last night with the guys from Foxes Afloat. Yeah, Colin and Sean. So uh, we had a nice chippy dinner, didn't we? Yeah. Fish and chip supper. Yeah, fish and chip supper. And a few beers. <laughs> and now it's time to move on. Time to move on. Pastures new. Yeah. So uh, grab your coat and hat and come with us. <laughs> See you later. See you. Bye. So we're just leaving Henley upon Thames. It's a beautiful town right on the riverfront, and because of that fact, a lot of celebrities actually live here. People like Russell Brand, George Harrison, when he was alive, his wife still lives here. Uh, George Orwell lived here for his formative years. Philip Schofield used to live here. Dusty Springfield is buried in the church. Uh, the actor David Tomlinson that did um, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, he lived here. And Mary Berry, who is very well known for the Great British Bake Off. You've got other people like Liam Gallagher and Orlando Bloom who also live here as well. So um, we haven't seen any of them. <laughs> Henley was first recorded as being a place in 1179 when King Henry II bought a piece of land to make buildings on. And in the 14th century, when the Black Death was about 60% of the population actually died. It's quite shocking, isn't it? Each year, the town holds the Henley Royal Regatta. Um, Mark will tell me off here, say it's regatta. I say regatta, you say regatta. Uh, it became royal in 1851 when Prince Albert became a patron. Normally at this time of the year the regatta is on and we were here when they had the vintage boats which was absolutely amazing and the Queen's row barge went by. To look at that video we'll put a link for you. But we're just about to go on to Henley Bridge and Henley Bridge was actually built in 1786 and is Grade 1 listed. I'll turn you around so you can see. So here's the bridge. Very blustery day today. In 2010, they had to do a £200,000 repair because a boat actually hit the bridge and damaged it. Let's hope we don't do the same.
going to be able to get into this lock behind us and the lock keeper said no definitely not he's asked us to moor over on this side which is right next to the weir and the weir is actually pulling us over so uh, we're pulled over to the side at the moment let's hope we can get off and get into the lock in a minute
So we're just about to go through Sonning Bridge and you'll see from the camera on the front it's a very, very narrow bridge and we have to give way to anything coming the other way. This is the very beautiful Sonning Lock, dating back to the 18th century. So here we are at Sonning, just after the lock, and I'll take you on a trip into Sonning. So right behind them trees is George Clooney's house. So let's head over Sonning Bridge and see if we can find his house. And at the top of the bridge is this county boundary marker. Berkshire on this side and Oxfordshire on the other side. Halfway across the bridge. On one side of the bridge you've got Hollywood elite George Clooney. The other side of the bridge you've got a rock star. Look at this amazing bell pull. You would have pulled that and it would have rung a bell inside. That was a really good cruise, really enjoyed that one. It was, yeah, we, um, we had lovely weather, we met some really nice people along the way, uh, met a few subscribers. Yeah, we did mention most of them last week, but we also saw Jonathan as well, and his dog Tess. Yes, he um, passed us on his wide beam boat, and sort of flagged us down and reversed and pulled over and had a chat with us, so yeah, that was quite nice. That was really nice. Yeah. Can we say a massive thank you to Justine Diamond who has very kindly uh, done our Patreon this week. Very kindly indeed, yes. so uh, thank you very much. Every little bit helps. It does indeed, definitely. Yeah. And um, if you go over to our Patreon page, you can find out where we are at this exact moment. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you go over there and um, subscribe to Patreon, you can unlock the post that tells you exactly where we are. Yeah. Because we're not in Henley, are we? No, no, we're not. Well, we're not, because clearly the end of this video shows we're not in Henley. <laughs> the magic of TV. Mark's still got his dark glasses on. I have, yeah. Um, I go and get my new ones tomorrow. They're ready to be collected, and I'm going down to have them fitted. It's taken me nearly three weeks to try and get them sorted. It would have been even longer, thanks to COVID and lockdown. Um, but uh, I'm due to collect them tomorrow, so I'll do a reveal on what they're like. 
Um, to be honest with you, I'm blinded to bat without glasses, so they're probably horn rim spectacles. We'll put that over on the Patreon page, but I reckon they're going to be about this size. Yeah, probably. They'll need to be so I can see properly. But we'll do a video, yeah, and we'll post it on Patreon so you can see uh, the new glasses first. See what you got. Yeah, see what I don't even know what I've got, to be honest. It's impossible to choose a pair of glasses because they ask you to try them on, but half your face concealed by a mask. How do you know what the glasses look like? I mean, it's literally like a bank robber trying on glasses. You know? It'd be funny. Yeah, well, it will be, yeah. Anyway. If you like the video, if you could give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, it's free to do so and it helps us massively. And also once you've subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon because that lets you know when we post future videos. And don't forget to give us a comment. We always answer every single one of them and it's lovely to hear your views. It is indeed. Um, so that just remains for us to say thank you for watching. And see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.